All right, everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Arkvale. Arkvale? Archvale? Arc... Uh, Arvale. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a game that, uh... I guess it's been kind of sitting in my inbox for a little while, and I've been... Ooh, it's got local multiplayer. Not gonna do it for today, but good to know. Uh, but it's a bullet hell RPG. Not a roguelike, to, to my knowledge. But an actual RPG. Child of Archvale, The Paradise Beyond, Awaken. Seven great stones lie dormant, sealed in the depths of the kingdom. When united, they shall restore forgotten bridge between worlds. Go forth, awaken child. The arch awaits. So is this going to be like kind of slightly Zelda-y then? You know. Okay, that's pretty basic. Looks like we have no gun yet. Doesn't look like I can get through that, so we must get gun. I'm digging this style. Hello? Well, hello. Wooden blade. Nope. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, one of my buddies has been playing this, and it looks actually pretty good. I, uh, uh, gosh, I have been overwhelmed with games, but today was like perfect. All like half of my series have just kind of ended, so I can kind of just like kick back and chill, and actually put some time into taking some damage here. Uh, let's see if I can get some HP back. Uh, kicking back and chilling, checking out all of the games being sent my direction, and actually keeping on top of things for once. It's it's quite nice. Normally, uh, when it comes to like new releases, I'm always just like, no, just give me another week. I still need to finish all of these other games. Dash through projectiles to avoid damage. Part of the reason why this has been sitting in my inbox is because, holy moly, I am terrible at bullet hells. I might actually want to take a peek at the, di the difficulty settings and bop it down. Like... I can do, like, Binding of Isaac levels of bullet hell, but more than that, I just, no. I can't, I can't focus on that many things. I've tried. I've tried forever. Uh, let's see. Onyx Ring. Sure. The RPG elements might work. Otherwise, dropping, yeah, like I said, dropping the difficulty could also help as well, but who knows. Hold to consume a healing flask. Oh, I do have... So that's how I heal myself. I wonder if it recharges based on damage or like a interact thing. Alright, cradle wood. Yeah, I know my limits usually. When it comes to bullet hells, it's just like... I, I guess I've done a couple that have been hard. Fountains restore your health and healing flasks. So if you fall in battle, you go back to the last healing fountain. Okay, so bonfire system. What is this? I don't know. It's gone now. That's fine. Frankly, I do actually really like the... Ooh. I do really like the Dark Souls fountain system. I... It's probably... It was probably pioneered elsewhere, I am sure. Like, some other game did it first. I mean, checkpoints always have. But something about the, the fountain. You go to the fountain, you restore your Estus. And then, you know, continue on your way. And if you die, you go back to the, the nearest fountain. It works. It's kind of the classic arcade checkpoint system. Where it feels kind of fair most of the time. And doesn't feel like terribly punishing. It gives you kind of a solid place where you know is safe, I guess. Okay, so pots do 150 damage. I'll keep that in mind. No pots here. No pots here. I guess I'm just going to break these for a moment. Nope. Dodged right into that. Like a fool. At least I'm not actually taking too much damage here. I might... I might be better at this than I think I am, but I'm probably going to eat a lot of bullets before I get good at dodge. Okay, no secrets over there. Yet. Or maybe. Who knows? Oh, do enemies do contact damage as well? Because that might mess me up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I tried getting into bullet hells. Gungeon was, like, my, my serious attempt. And I think I did, like, decent. I beat Dragon a couple of times, and then that was kind of it. 
I'm sure there's, uh, you know, I'm sure if I'd stuck with it, I would have actually really been able to master it, but I don't know. Uh, I should probably talk to these characters instead of just destroying all their foliage. Looking to craft yourself some equipment, eh? Keep your eye out in the wild for shiny rocks. They're sparkling. Smack them about. You'll get yourself some material. At the anvil, you can craft weapons and armor with resources you find. If you're planning on venturing beyond the fair reach, you definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. Right. Anvil. We also have child. That's not child. Child. Whoa, I want to be an adventurer like you. It's too bad my mom won't let me. Okay, anything else? No. So what can I make? Snail rod, magic weapon, iron short blade. And then shell equipment. There's also iron stuff. Bow, moon jelly cl Hmm. Well, do I start with the snail rod or the short blade? I'm going to do the short blade for now. I'd love to go for the snail rod. Actually... No, I'm going to try both. I want a full suit of armor, but realistically, not that important. Oh. There we go. So, crafting recipes are not, do not remain. I'm just going to put these down for now. we got a couple of different things. I'm going to put this here. I don't know if it's any good. So, damage, bleed, rate, range. Let's try this staff. Looks like I can just shoot it, yeah. Okay, loot. Here we go. This is where I can s store stuff. Discovered fountains can be teleported between instantly. Use the fountain again to open the world map. Oh, well, that's handy. These sacred fountains are older than even myself. Beacons placed by the beings who protect this world, the legends claim. Supposedly, those godlike beings sent many other gifts to our world. A comforting thought, is it not? And it doesn't look like I can go inside any of these. Okay. Well, I'm going to very quickly just scoot around looking, seeing if there's anything interesting. The answer is no. There's like a couple of children. I saw a slime the size of a house. Nobody believes me, though. Well, that's... I'd say it's ominous, but honestly, that's expected. Okay, so the problem with this staff is, to some degree... Uh, let's see. It's way less damaging than using the knife. So if I want to go to town on something, probably knife. If I want to not die, probably staff. I guess I'll just keep these in mind. Oh, it has a bleed effect. Ow. I deserved that. Okay, shiny rocks. They probably just mean these. Oh, right. I have to dash over. Gotta give it to the knife, though. Okay, you know the other thing I want to do? I want to go back into the options. We're going to take this down by a bit and turn the rest of the game up. Because as it stands, the music is actually kind of pleasant. It's nice and chipper. Let's do like 40%. There we go. Audio balance is hard. Alright, explode those. Break everything. And then we'll go back and craft. Though I think we're I, I think I'm gonna go as far as I can before we go back crafting. I don't know if there's much of a penalty for failure, apart from getting sent back. And if we're really lucky, uh we get to keep all of our loot and don't have to like run back or anything like that. Bowman's hat. Defense and range damage. So I'll have less defense this way. But I could potentially stave some more. Ooh, I didn't realize the magic shots actually bounced. Well, that's convincing. I don't know, actually. I, I think I will stick to being a ranged boy. Now, if only I could bullet hell like they could. Can? Yeah, if I miss, I've got the benefit of my bullets being able to bounce around a little bit, so it's not... Not so bad? Wow, this is actually really effective. <laughs> I'll still mine with the dagger, though, which feels kind of like a terrible idea, but still, fair reach. What is this? Activate? Oh! You can now store up to 500 gold. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Not from around here, are you? That means you're a traveler. 
I'm sure I need not tell you of the dangers beyond town, but perhaps my wares may be of use on your journey ahead. Okay, so they sell a Tome of Flame, Rusty Flail, Apprentice Hood, so magic damage. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't have too much. Let's keep talking to characters. Hello there, little one. Mind if I take a peek at those elixirs you carry with you? Ah yes, a recipe I'm familiar with. I happen to know a few tricks of the trade to pump up the potency of such healing brews. Bring me some mega plums and I'll see what I can do. Hello, little traveler. Have you come to browse my extensive badge collection? Okay, badges. Interesting. I wonder if badges just take up inventory space. Got your eyes on an array of trinkets and treasures. Little child, I doubt you could afford even the cheapest of my collection. Regardless, these are not for you. I'm a collector, you see. Now, child, if you happen to come across any treasures akin to mine, please bring them to me. I pay a pretty penny, I'll have you know. Fair enough. And anything else here? Town iron mine, yes. I'm assuming, yeah, I can't loot the carts. I'm not disappointed by this. But I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, is there a way I can check the map? Because I kind of want to head back there, maybe, just to see. Uh, let's check the anvil real quick. What can I make? Because we could also go up to making the iron bow. What we have? Sl slime bubbler. Uh... Yeah, so the... Oh, interesting. Oh, iron throwing axe. Ranged weapon. I'm gonna try the, the bow for now. The throwing axe might have been more interesting. Who knows? Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, brr. Here. Let's just warp back. If it lets me, perfect. Let's go the other direction this time and see what we get. I'm starting to really dig this. I kind of knew I was going to like it. Uh, just based on the recommendations I was given, I probably should have... Uh, I don't know. I, I always beat myself up when I, I am lazy about a new game release that might be good. Oh, interesting. You can't go back to remine an area. You can refight the enemies if you want a bunch of slime and money. But all the mining nodes and whatnot are gone. That kind of makes sense, so you can't overgrind. But a pine wood bow. Well, that's not as helpful. That's fine. I'll have to try the throwing axe next. I, I'm certainly enjoying having a little bit more of a ranged attack. I know melee would probably be better, but like I just do not trust myself and my ability to dodge that much. I just can't do it. Okay, so let's let's just let's just pile some holes into foes for a brief moment. Let's see what we get. Anything? A little bit of money? Hell yeah. Alright, what is here? What are you? Activate. Well, I've been turned into a crystal. Ooh. Is it like a survival challenge? Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get. I should have stepped on the pad. I wasn't sure which was which. Well, hello. I see. I see what I am to do. There we go. Okay, round two. Well, if I'm not focused on fighting back, I think this is a little easier. It's the fighting... Fighting that messes with me. I'm not sure how many of these I'm supposed to do, but it's probably going to give me a third one. Yep. Okay. Grab that. Luckily, a lot of it's just trajectories. How far are we going? I guess I got it. Trial novice. 
Got a star magnet. Massively increases pickup range for magic stars. Shards? Badges can be equipped from the badge tab of your inventory. Must be must use a fountain before they're applied. Oh. Good to know. Well, that's gonna be fun. Another fountain? I... Oh no, those are probably its arms. There was a brief moment there where I thought for a second in restoring the statue we were just giving it massive knockers. Is there, there is a rightmost path. Let me check. Let's go, let's take the rightmost path. I would not put it past certain video games, to be honest. I've played a great many where it's just like, here's your reward, big titty goddess, and it gets really confusing. Or just, I don't know, look, I don't trust games anymore. I used to be like a huge weeb, and now I'm just kind of like a tepid one. It's like, constantly just, hey, but what about fan service? And I'm like, no. Because the video games industry has been, honestly, a lot better. You know, it's like, well, we could have these, like, ultra-ridiculous characters that are worth nothing more than their physical appearance. Or we could have, you know, actual character development and things that matter. I like the things that matter. Okay. Yeah, I can't tell if the magic staff is really doing it for me here. There we go. Switch the iron bow here. It's a pine wood bow. 33 damage. Range is the same. Range is the same. So it, it's literally just linear damage upgrades. Alright, cool. But no, this is really cool. I I normally struggle with bullet hells often because they're they're hard. I mean, this is hard. Um, not painfully so. Here, let's let's try the boomerang. Let's see what happens. Seems kind of fun. I'm assuming I can, I can only have one. Okay. So the boomerang's main main strength is the fact that it has strike through. Which I certainly dig. Great for groups. Anything else? No. Okay, let's just kind of chill in the back. I'm going to take some damage here, but I'll probably be fine. And just keep my, keep my distance. I might want to look into doing some magic stuff. It's probably going to be what I spend my money on. Now that we know especially that money can be farmed for, what is this? Oh, we got the Mega Plum. I'm certainly glad I'm exploring. Might as well grab everything as we go by. We get a wooden spear. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. Can't tell if it's going to be good, though. Range, armor penetration, inflicts armor break? That's a no for me. Just not of any interest. But yeah, most, um, most bullet hells tend to be, uh, roguelikes. I don't necessarily mind bullet hell roguelikes, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, a roguelike is always a good excuse to make a game, like, blisteringly difficult. And I always kind of am at odds with that because I'm just a little bit too much of a casual. So I can work with this. Got to be very careful. I definitely might want to see if I can get like a a slower, higher damage ranged weapon, or just something with a lot of range, so I can keep my distance. I know this staff has that. Do I get to choose? Health is increased. Increased chance for enemies to drop hearts when low on health. Oh, but that might be a, uh, that's probably a badge. Should probably go equip those. But yeah, this very much is kind of like a light Zelda-like. With slight RPG mechanics and some other things. Oh no, that, that bless, 
there's a difference between blessings and otherwise. Well, do I do another one of these? I will. We'll see if I can get it. Let's do another big dodge. Okay. Looks like these guys are going to have a different pattern. They can change direction. So that's going to mess with me a little bit. Makes them far less predictable. There should be three tiers of this. That said... I know they're specifically shooting for me. There we go. And yeah, I can dodge through the through the gems. Or not well, through the gems, through the shots. Just gotta be careful. Got it? We good? Or is there... Yeah, got it. Arrowbender. Range projectiles bend towards enemies. Oh, well, I'm very glad I did that. <sighs> Alright, let's go down here. What does the last room have? I'm going to have to figure out how many badges I can equip. And I'm certainly going to want to equip probably that one if I want to keep it this whole ranged business. But I might want to try magic. Uh, I'll find that out in a bit. Magical weapons may seem weaker than their physical counterparts at first. However, enemies struck by magic drop magic shards. Grab those and your magic weapons become more effective. Oh, well that... That's convincing. Okay. Let's go back over here. Uh, you're, you're the badge man. We just wanted to go here. In need of supplies? I want to try the Tome of Flame. And yeah, I've got plenty of money. Let's try some cult business. What else can we afford? Because, yeah, there's the moon jelly cap, but I need more fungal cap... caps... slime? I'm not actually sure how much of each of these I need, but one way or another, I do not have enough. Yeah, let's, become, let's become a cultist for now. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Aha, you've brought me mega plums. Seems we have all the mega plums we need to make a start. Now, let me work my magic. Oh, just eats it. Oh. All right, healing brew increased. So what do we do? Honestly, let's put away a lot of the junk that we may or may not need. Uh, you know, I might actually want the snail rod now that I'm thinking about it. The rest of this stuff I'll probably skip, though. Uh, you. Oh, right. This guy sells gems, but not helpful. Okay, so how do we... Badges. Oh, I've got X number of slots. That makes sense. grab this anyway. We'll see how good that is. Uh, in that case. Oh no, we, do, we already have the bowman's hat. And the apprentice robes are just as good. Alright, cool. Where's this go? Oh, hello. Children like you should not be lurking around town. What if you must? Those weapons of yours could use some work. I've been a smith for many a year. Perhaps one of the best. For a fee, I'll gladly reinforce those shoddy weapons of yours. Oh. Okay, so just for money, we can improve. Sure. So 40 damage. Oh, this is a little bit more expensive. So 40 normally. Okay, it's going up to 42. Eh, I'll save my money. I like the, the idea of the Tome of Flame, you know, just... I mean... Just absolutely shredding foes. Where are we going? I probably should have actually just warped to that fountain. But it's okay. I wanted a bit of a, a trial run on this. I think the one... Oh, interesting. Burning enemies seem to explode for bonus damage. Oh. And when we're talking ranged projectiles, I think that actually does include my spells. 
I could be wrong. I think that's the case. Uh, what? I might need that keystone. How did I miss it? Or is that like the one room I haven't been in? Or is it a dungeon? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just haven't been in here. Like and keep. Let's get all of these as we go by. Hello. Burn fools. Okay, so here's the question. No, it looks like the Book of Flame is the one that makes everything home in. I mean, still damn good though. I had copper treasure. Doesn't look like we've got anything else of any interest here. I'm digging being a whiz boy. Just purely for the uh, the homing and the burning. Because that way I can just kind of chill out and relax for a bit and just let the, the fire deal with everything. Ow. Didn't get it after all. But I'm curious about the magic stars. If that's like a temporary buff or a what. It probably is a temporary buff. Oh, the more fire I apply to the enemy, you can actually, you can actually see on their bar how much they've got left. Uh, or like how much fire damage. I, one of my biggest issues with a lot of status effects is that it doesn't stack. So it's like, what's the point of hitting an enemy with a fire spell twice? You know, there you can only burn so much. But a lot of games that I've seen... Oh, I see. That just probably gives me my dash stamina back. Which, speaking of, you really can clear some heavy gaps. Ow. I should be paying attention instead of looking at my health. I just wasn't sure if I gotten hit by contact damage on, by that wizard. But it's okay. Just keep burning that wizard. Because it doesn't seem like the wizard has homing abilities. Now, is this something I can deal with? No. Looks like we're going up. This is sick, though. Like, as far as, uh... As far as really unique games on the market goes, Arkvale is, like, really high up there. Like, obviously, it uses a lot of, like, standard kind of bullet hell things that I've seen in a lot of other roguelikes and games. But at the same time, the the differences in what you can do. It was like a very long way, you know, the do you want to be a ranger? Do you want to be a oh, damn it. Uh do you want to be a ranger? Do you want to be a Ooh, boy? Okay, do you want to be a ranger? More melee focused. Big weapons, throwing weapons, copper treasure and a bone crusher ring. Bonus damage against skeletons. Well, it's better than that. Treasure, treasure, it's just worth money. Cool. I'll take it. Oh, it's TNT. Ah, it's TNT. There's no key that was dropped or anything in here. It was just the treasure. Well, it's fine. What do we got in here? But I was uh, I was playing Link to the Past uh, just a little uh, a couple days ago for a, a Patreon thing, and uh, ow. there we go. Copper treasure, key, loot, or loot. We should get in the habit of picking up pots and chucking them at enemies. 
Oops. Oh, I do take damage from that. I will keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these diamond things just get me my stamina back. Oops. Wow, that is forgiving. But yeah, the di diamond thing's honestly kind of a Celeste thing. Ow? Maybe? Yes. Ow. Alright, let's just heal up. Get the key. We might want to go back and heal. As I have gotten uh, a firm drubbing here. That's uh, okay. I just gotta be more careful. And remember that TND TNT can hurt me too. Uh, I'll go back a bit. There's like that one other room. Did I miss it? Or was it locked? Well, it was locked, but I have the key for it now. Hello. Enjoy burning schlubs. Ow. Ooh. I don't even know how to react to most of this. Like, I can dodge a lot, but I can't dodge the spinny, spinny dudes. Oh, we got another plum. Another mega plum. What do we think? Do I need, like, two? I probably need two. going. I mean, here's the thing. Instead of going back, if I die, I die. And hopefully I can just pick up my money. Oh, I'm just gonna have to wait for that to come back. There we go. I don't know if I took some damage on that. We do get the Blessing of Power. Attack power has been increased by one. Cool. Uh, and good. We get a fountain before the boss. Hello, boss. Does it say anything? A visitor. How curious. I had long believed the tales of these decrepit ruins had been lost to time, but somehow I'm certain your arrival here is no mere incident. Accident? Accident. Those who came before you have been dead for many of hundreds of years. A fate that you will no doubt soon share. I admire your courage, little one. Forgive me. Okay, Maxilla. So yeah, it looks like my damage scales up based on how many magic stars I've... ...kind of accumulated. Okay, so that's kind of sick, actually. I'm really digging this music. Oh boy. Okay. So we're just blasting the eyeballs. Luckily, the fire blast kind of is a bit of an AoE once these guys start exploding. Okay, now he big mad. work with that, though. This one, maybe not so much so. Yeah, I took some damage. I was kind of hoping I could get through this hitless. Really prove that maybe I'm not such a schlub at bullet hells. Ow. Well, he's dead. It's fine. I think I took, like, one or two hits. How fascinating. You're not of this world, are you, child? This changes things. We shall meet again. Alright. Got a heart container. And... A healing flask. So now we got three. And a magic bomb. Deal damage to charge the magic bomb. A space to fire it off or just drop it. Cool. Charges reasonably quickly. And we get the first of the pieces of the bridge.
So, very Zelda. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I'm constantly surprised more people don't use the Zelda formula. I guess there are a number of games that do, do kind of, but this is like one of the first games I think I've played in a long time that really fits that, that feeling. It's a little bit more linear, maybe, but I still like it. You brought me Mega Plums, just one more and we can get brewing. Yeah, so it, it's probably one, then two, then three, then more. Okay, well, I really like this fire book. So let's upgrade it twice. I, oh, I see. So, increases the attack rate by a fair bit. Doesn't seem to increase the burn or the range. Also increases the damage. Well, I don't think all things are going to be made equal, unfortunately. Okay, we want to warp up here. Though what we really want to do, eh, let's go break that, let's go break that stone thing. Oop. What are we? Amber path. I guess I'll pop it, just because. Still kind of looks like knockers to me. I really sincerely hope I didn't miss one of those shields. I wonder what happens if you, like, leave a room. Where one of those shields has popped up. Alright, well, this is going to be heck, so we're just going to do it. But, uh, let's see. I guess before we go too far, this is a good stopping point, at least for the first episode. So, uh, Arcvale is available now on Steam, uh, uh, as of today, and it's 15 bucks, which I think is more than fair for what this is. Okay, so it fires three. That's gonna make this a little tighter, especially once we have multiple eyeballs shooting at us. Eyeballs? I guess it's not really eyeballs. Crystal things? Uh, I don't know. Either way, uh, if you're a big fan of games like Gungeon or Binding of Isaac or so on and so forth, uh, this is probably going to appeal in a pretty big way, just in terms of, like, competency and game mechanics. Uh, flexibility in customization? I think the sheer amount of stuff that you can do uh, already. You know, every weapon has felt pretty different to me. The, the melee weapons feel distinct and interesting. The... The spell system seems pretty cool. Ranged weapons are nice and reliable, but have unique perks. I mean, the strike through on that... Uh, the strike through on the throwing axes... Or, no, on the boomerang. I didn't even get to use the throwing axes yet. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Like, all of it is just incredibly well made. And really neat. Melee weapons deal fire damage while at full HP. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going for that. Whew. Uh, I might have to bust out a controller for some of those just for slightly more precise movement. We will see. But anyway, uh, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because I'm going to play more of this, I think. I might have to experiment with different difficulty levels if I possibly can. It doesn't look like I can. Data processing that terrifies me oh oh that's that's fine um yeah it looks like you choose your difficulty at the very beginning of the game and you can't change it i think it's mostly fine it's just a couple of things like the trials that might get me uh and i might have to be worried about those so we will see but for now thank you all so much for watching and i will see you next time